Grand Potter. Took us that's all from the fourth division of Swedish football. Do you know, do you know the Egypt family is ahead of it? First of all, you see, from the moment there were two Barcelona fans on the show, I just knew that like there would not be a lot of knowledge on this. Hello and welcome to another episode of Crossfire. My name is Rose and with me here today is... Tosin. And... Tunde. And we are going to be talking about Chelsea. Hi Tunde. Mm. How you feeling? It brings me great displeasure to talk about Chelsea. Let me not lie to you. But let's, let's hear it. Alright, so here's the gist. Your coach has been performing horribly. And the question is, do you sack him or not? Uh, Grand Potter. Yes, yes, yes Grand Potter. <laughs> Uh, look, before I before I dive into whether I should be sacked or not, let me ask. Let me just put out some stats. Chelsea have won two of the last sixteen games. As if that's not bad enough. Since November sixth till now today in in March, Chelsea has only scored six goals. To contextualize, Manchester United has scored fifty goals in that period. Fifty two. Fifty three. Say if you had the the. The, the, the FA Cup goes. 53. Marcus Rashford alone has scored 18. The entire Chelsea Football Club has scored six goals in four months. And that's I know you guys don't care about my mentality because I feel like I should just be getting hugs randomly at this point because I'm going, I'm going through a lot. I am going, imagine witnessing six goals in over four months. So whoever is responsible for that, I don't, I don't care who it is. I don't care if you developed the cure for cancer in your previous employment. If you can coach a team that scores six goals in four months, you should, you should lose your job immediately. And I know, yes, Tosi is going to say, yes, I campaigned for Todd Bowley when they were, when, when they were appointing. Yes. But that's the duality of man. As a Nigerian man, I'm an hypocrite. I own it. How are you feeling about Graham Potter and Chelsea right now? You, you know, like, one of the, the problems I have with Tunde is that, forget the glasses he's wearing, he's short-sighted. Both literally and figuratively. Mm. You understand? So, so, I remember mm. in September when mm. we had... <laughs> The discussion about Graham Potter. And Tunde was talking about Graham Potter, his accolades in the Swedish top flight. The Swedish division, there's no difference between the Swedish division and the Ugandan division. Like the, the level, the quality of football in the two divisions is probably the same thing. And I told him then, based on my experience, based on my knowledge of football, I told him then that Tunde, you understand, Graham Potter does not have the capacity. The thinking faculty, you understand, to handle this Chelsea side. And now we are in this debacle. So, Tunde has to eat his crow, you understand. Now, calling for Graham Potter to be sacked, that's of course for You have to stay and see this project through. You have to stay and see this project through because some of us that are elderly and we see things, you understand, from, from a reasonable, you understand, and a calculated perspective. You understand, we saw this coming, you understand. And his youthful exorbitance, you know, just, you know, just jumping up and down in the cage like a monkey, you understand? At the end of the day, that is what land... <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Did I, did, did, did I not tell you? Did I not conscientize you? Did I not educate you? I brought out my breasts. I told you like, today, this is how it is going to happen. You were telling me at Ostensund, at Ostensund. I'm like, what is Ostensund? At Brighton and Hove Albion, what is Brighton and Hove? This is Chelsea Football Club. This is Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> You guys have heard it all from Tunde and Tosin. Shots fired unnecessarily, stray bullets caught. The Ugandan Premier League, Tunde is short-sighted in more ways than one, and Graham Potter is uneducated. That leaves us somewhere. Should Graham Potter get the sack, who do you think will be the best candidates to replace him? Let's start with you. From my extensive knowledge about football, of course. Who should replace Graham Potter? In that, let's look at it from like the Chelsea locker room. Mm -hmm. Forget like this. Graham Potter has not been unable to create an identity in that dressing room. So you need mm. a very, very strong figure mm. to come in and take charge of that dressing room. You understand? And there are very, very few managers that have the stature, the cachet, you understand? And the extensive winning ba uh, background, you understand, with Laureus to come into that dressing room and impose themselves. For me, the prime candidate is AS Roma coach Jose Mourinho. <laughs> you understand? But let, me, let, me, let me educate you. <laughs> let me educate you now. Minister of Education. Let me educate on. you. When you failed the test, you collected F9 before you now you want to tell me what is going to happen. So when you look at Jose Mourinho, he has won the Premier League with Chelsea on multiple locations. So he knows the club in and out. You understand? Now, players like Modric, like Jao Felix, like Enzo Fernandez, these are players that are still lactating. They need a strong, firm hand of guidance. 
Jose Mourinho at this stage in his career, you understand? He has seen it or he has done it all. You understand? He will be able to provide the right guidance for them. And maybe at the end of the season, you understand, bringing the experience on the pitch. You understand? So Jose Mourinho for me is the prime candidate. He has done it before at Chelsea. He's no doubt the most successful Chelsea manager of all time. You understand? And he comes into that, he comes into that dressing room, he puts things in the right perspective. Considering that Jose Mourinho has seen it all and done it all, who do you think should replace Graham Potter? Mourinho or do you have someone else in mind? Is it <clears throat> when those in talks, I just my brain just automatically tunes off. Because when you look at we are talking of the best managers in the world right now, you are calling Jose Mourinho. Like no disrespect to him, yes, he's, 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 been, he's been great. But where, where, do, where do you draw the line? Should we also bring in Eguavon to come and try his hand out? What about Sam From Sissi? the man that is being coached by Graham Potter, that says a lot. Uh, you are supposed to be the partial person. <laughs> I, I, I can take it from you, but I will, not, I will not take it from you. Let's go back to the point. Look at some of the best managers in the world now. Which pedigree did he have? The coach of your current club, Xavier Hernandez. Where was he coaching before he got the job at Barcelona? Exactly. He was coaching hotel employees. Well, is Javi a good coach? He's sitting top of the... I look. Are you see something wrong with you? Is Javi a good coach? <laughs> your, your, PT, your PTSD and... Slow down, and slow down. Yo, it's not, that's, not, that's not the topic of discussion here. When we get to Javi, we'll talk about it. The point I'm making is, he's sitting top of La Liga with seven points. Where was he coaching? What was the name of the summer club? I challenge you. Mention it now. Mention it. I said... <laughs> it sounds like name of perfume. <laughs> Look at who is top of the Premier League, Miguel Arteta. What was he doing? NYC in Manchester before before he got the job. You, you still have to tell us who you think the prime candidate is. Like. I'm working up there, and you clearly have a toast in my So maybe I'm not show. No. Maybe you can find somewhere to call you. I just think Chelsea is going through a lot right chest. now, and you're taking it out on us. <laughs> Give us your candidate. Yes, please. This is going to seem very strange. <laughs> More because strange than it's been already. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't think they should start grand, but. <laughs> 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 because, yeah, so much investment has gone into Graham Potter at this point. I mean, they paid a huge buyout clause to take him from Brighton, uh, from Brighton, then gave him more than seven times his previous salary. He probably had never seen that amount of money before in his life. And then gave him a near seven-year contract. It would make zero sense to fire him now because you still keep paying him anyway. So just give him this season as a write-off and then judge him on the basis of, of next season. Because right now, I don't see any prime candidates. If you are, if you are letting Graham Potter go, you either bring back to Moscow. Or you walk up to Manchester, I'm talking to Todd Bolly and Baghdad Egbali now. Walk up to Manchester, knock on City's door, tell the Qatari people, or UAE, wherever they're from, that you want Pep, and you're not leaving without him. That's the only way I will not, I will, I will, I will not consider Grand Potter this season. And we've heard from Tosin and Tunde, but we would love to hear what you guys think. Do you think Graham Potter should be sacked? And if he does get the sack, who should replace him? It's been Crossfire.